Acupressure can certainly shift your energy. If you're feeling low or depressed or tired or fatigued, it can shift it because acupressure points are the gateways for moving energy in your body. I'm going to show you six acupressure steps that use four points to relieve drowsiness and narcolepsy. If you're feeling sleepy or drowsy, some people have this happen at inappropriate times when they need to work or they need to drive and they just feel really tired. I'm going to show you how to shift this. It involves using deep, swift breaths through your nose while you hold the points. Here we go. The first step, the first point, is right here. So hold it with your index finger firmly. This is right in the very center, and you're pressing against your gums with three swift breaths. Here we go. You hold it at the top of the inhalation, and you slowly exhale through your nose if possible. It's an inhalation through your nose. Holding for a couple seconds, and exhale. And again, we'll do each one, each of these six steps, three times. Inhale. And exhale. And the second step, we're going to press the acupressure points underneath the base of the skull. So bring your thumbs underneath your skull bone. And as you tilt your head back, you'll swiftly inhale again, again. And as you take three successive deep, swift breaths through your nose, your head will tilt back a little farther, a little farther. Let's do this together. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. It looks like this. Yeah, do it with me. Inhale. And last time, inhale. And relax. And now we're going to use the same point, but we're going to scratch it with our nails. Take swift breaths through your nose. As you scratch along the occipital ridge, the base of your skull. Now, each of these techniques, you don't have to do all of them at once. You can do one or two of them, and you might find great results with them to counteract your drowsiness, your sleepy, or if you tend to have narcolepsy. The fourth technique is a breathing exercise. Interlace your fingers like this. And inhale deeply and stretch up. And exhale and slowly come down. It's called a holding the heaven with the two hands. You can do it in a chair. You can do it standing. Inhale deeply. And exhale. So the inhalation is swift through the nose. Inhale. Just this exercise alone can stimulate your nervous system and this make you feel more vital and refresh you, rejuvenate you. The fifth exercise is to briskly rub your lower back. Create a heat. Up and down, up and down to create a heat. Briskly. So I'm using the backs of my hands and I'm placing my hands um, in the lower back right here. Um, at the level of my waist and rubbing up and down briskly for a whole minute to create a heat. To create a heat right in here and this is going to rejuvenate your kidneys. The kidneys are what store your vital energy according to traditional Chinese medicine. And lastly, let's do the energy point right here. You can, you can hold this with both hands and apply pressure inwardly. What I like to do is briskly rub up and down using my knuckles here, up and down. Do both sides at the same time. I'm only doing one side, but you can do both sides at the same time. You can be sitting, you can be um, in bed with your knees up, you can be propped up in your, in your, in your bed. 
if you're in your car and you're parked, you could use these knuckles and, and reach down and do these points. Then do the rejuvenation technique, uh, holding the heaven with the two hands. So there's a lot of different ways you can do them in any order you'd like, so that whatever comes to you, do it. These exercises are also rejuvenating for your entire energy system. So the more you do them, the better you'll feel, the more vitality you'll have, the more healing energy you're going to give your body, your immune system. And I think the better you'll feel and the better off you'll be so that people see and feel your vitality. These are great techniques to do wherever you are to boost your immune system, to feel better, to feel more vital. So particularly when you're feeling sluggish, if you suffer from narcolepsy or drowsiness, do some of these techniques and you'll feel better.